Wait. Wasn't chapter three called The Dragon's Table? Why did I go? Oh, I'm doing that thing where I go we high pitch. The I don't know why. Table. I wonder what Validar is planning. Me too. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Right, Robin? <sighs> Robin, are you okay? <sighs> yeah. Something's wrong. What's the matter? I just haven't been able to sleep well lately. <sighs> My head. You don't look well at all. You probably need rest. You're right. I should probably sit out the next battle. You're in no shape to protect yourself. I'll stay back and keep an eye on you. Thanks, Krom. Hmm. We won't have to worry with Krom watching over you. You can leave the dragon's table to us. Actually, I've got something that needs my attention. What? You aren't going to fight with us? I'm sorry. I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> Very well. Come on, everyone. Prepare yourselves for the battle ahead. All right, so we don't have Chrome in this mission. That that's fine. I wasn't gonna use him anyway. But now we have Cordelia. Do I have an extra lance to give her? Right here. I didn't go into the. Best. I didn't do the. Uh, that's not okay. Okay, what am I? What am I doing? Let me get my menu button sorted out. Okay, I do have. I just like how this is 480 damage. This this like it goes from 10. To 480. That, that's just too much. All right, I don't want to go back and load the mission, so we're just gonna go with that. Actually, you know what? Optimize. Good. Done. Now, Are you ending because this battle? no, no, come on, buttons. Um, boy. Put me in. Rowan. Go ahead and change choose. item. There. I'd rather less I have the staff. But uh, what was I saying? So to me, it just feels like. By putting Lin in, they're in. just sort of appeasing somebody. Leave it to me. Instead of like going yes, like, "Hey uh, guys, we really like Rock Farm Seven, and we wanted what to not only do the the DS games, but I we wanted to you. also do the the like other representation." But I hope that after the original DLC packs, that the they Let's go. maybe do different ones. It all depends, because I'm pretty sure, like, Hyrule Warriors got, like, I think, like, a year of service after, like, the DS one came out. It already added tons of more stuff. But I'm hoping that this game sort of receives the same treatment. Now, let's go stop Validar's twisted ritual. I've received a report. So now that we have Cordelia here, I'm not a big fan of Cordelia's character. It's the... It's the, uh... Someone must be powering I'm that perfect barrier. at everything. I'm really humble fight. about it. But, and then I also the love the main started. character. Or... Yeah, I'm the main character. It's like, I also love the main character, but my feelings will never be reached. Like, I think an unrequited love tale is, you know, it's fine. It can serve as a good show plot. Like, I, I really can't think of a show right now. Maybe Toradora. I think that's the only one that comes to my head. If I'm even remembering that show right. But otherwise, I can't really think of a show that has. But anyway, the other part of love thing is okay. Well, I get it. It's part of the character. But I'm just wondering why they decided to put Cordelia instead of Sumia. Uh, because, like. Well, I don't think Sumia's character is any better. In fact, I don't think it is. She just makes a pie and Tom falls in love. Because otherwise, Sumia has done nothing, nothing for Chrome. And so... But I just, I don't know why they decided to put Cordelia. But, uh, now, the Pegasus Knights in this game, all three of them play exactly the same. They have different specials, of course, but that's about it. That's really it. Now, can he... Okay, the allied base here can fall. That's all I needed to know. But... But, so... Like... All the Pegasus Knights play the same. And that is uh, that I know is an issue for some people. And I guess that was I, I, I think that's a complaint that people do have about this. Is that not all characters are unique? And then 
I mean, I guess the only rebuttal that I have to that is that do both, like, do the three different Pegasus Knights in any other Fire Emblem game play differently? Someone is being attacked. Sure, they might have out. different stats, but it's not like you send them to do different things. Like, that, that's it, right? Like, at least what, what I think is, like, Fire Emblem isn't known for everyone being unique in the way they play, but more like personality. So, like, well, I'm sure they could have had, like, Hinoka doing more twirls, and maybe they could have had Cordelia doing magic as well as the Lance, because everyone would promote her to a dark fire. Yeah, this is taking, this is taking too much time. We're going around, we can fly as Pegasus Knight, and they could have, like, Sita use a sword, because that's how it is in Fire Emblem 1. I don't know about the DS remakes, but they could. At the same time, I don't think it's really worth it to do that. The units by themselves would all play. Like, like that would, I think, be too much work if every character had to play exactly, but not exactly the same. And for instance, like, Krom and Lucina, it would make perfect sense if they have the same fighting style, at least, at least to me. I, I know in Awakening, they don't have any of the same moves other than, like, Ether, which makes them do the same animation. But in this game's context, I think it makes a lot of sense that they play the same. In fact, the exact same. And then, all the archers... Well, I mean, there's only so many ways you can pull a bow string, right? It's not like you can dual-wield bows. That's silly. That doesn't work. I will continue to be diligent. Like... So... I, I don't think there's a lot of variation in archery. Now, for mages, Robin and all three enemy mage, like, heroes all, all have the same exact moveset. And at that point, I have, I have no clue, like, how you would fix that. Because already, all of the mage characters in this game do all sorts of different spells. Robin does... Training begins now. I actually can't remember Mission all of them off the top of my head, but, but let's see. Oh, a feature with Cordelia right here that I forgot is when you press the strong Secret attack button, button, you go into the air, and then you just wail on them. If we can lower the drawbridge, we might be able to return to the fort from here. But, uh... I've received a report. But, uh, one of my, uh... So, like, I don't really know how useful it would be like, or how practical it would be to make a move set for everybody. Um, for instance, like, what one can play, I think, is Ryoma. He uses lightning in his attacks because he has the Raijinto. Xander has sort of darkness on his sword because he's using the Siegfried. Well, enemy cavalier and swordmasters will have those elements on their weapons, even though that doesn't make a lot of sense. And I can see where they took shortcuts with that. In fact, the axe fighters hit you like if they're Lissa, like if they're flailing their axe around like they don't know what they're doing. So, you know, that's, that's, that's strange. How do I activate this drawbridge? Oh, this. Okay. I've normally never done that. So I don't know how practical it would be to make a move set for everybody. Uh, but like, and then there are some cases, for example, like Niles is offered as DLC. I don't know how much, maybe ten bucks. I don't know how much the individual prices are. So you get ten bucks for Obero, who is the only grounded spear user, uh, at least in the game at that point. Azura, who is now the uh, second ground of Spirit user, and Niles, a clone of the Archers. So you're like, well, if you're gonna be charging money for Niles, why wouldn't he be unique in some sense? And I thought, you know, maybe they might do something, and he wasn't. I thought they were just gonna make Azura and Obero clones of each other, and just have different specials, but they actually did something different with Azura. But now, for example, Lin, you know, has her own playstyle. Where's this mage? Oh, the mage is over, over this away. There's a lot of archers over here, but so long as I move fast, none of them should be able to hit me. 
As long as you don't stay near the, near them when they do their move, you should be fine. Oh, I have to go back. Uh, I'll just go the long way. I don't want to mess with the archers. Where's Rowan? Oh, okay. Um, but for, like, Lin has this crazy fighting style with dual blades. Um, with, like, a little short sword she has on her back, which is neat. But I'm pretty sure Navar is just gonna have that same moveset. And if he's gonna be offered for money, like, what's what's the point? He, he's gonna be in the next DLC pack, where apparently they're adding Minerva, Navar, and Lind. And I can only assume Minerva is gonna play like Camilla. Um, actually, they might make her different because in Shadow Dragon, the Wyvern, she's not a Malice Knight, she's a Wyvern Knight. So I don't know what they're gonna do with her. But, and then Lind, is she gonna play like Robin? Is she gonna have her own magics that she uses? And who knows? But it's pretty but it's pretty much guaranteed that Navar is gonna be a clone of Lin, which I think is upsetting in a way. Navar is real cool. And then with the uh, awakening pack, Owen, as far as I can tell, is gonna be a clone of Ryoma. Barjo uh, is apparently in it, and she'll probably just be a clone of Robin. Acting and then you right Olivia will hands. have to be different. She she will have to play differently. If they made her a clone of anybody, that I would legitimately have to complain about that. that instead well. of these like small complaints I have, and Robin, it would just be like out of character. She you? started doing like samurai technique. Oh, hey, what's happening over here? Uh huh. Right, we're gonna switch the Lissa for this. Because she's good against mages because she has a higher resistance. So now, what I like in this game as well is its soundtrack. Id, Id Awakening is the best song I've heard in Fire Emblem, I think. When it, when it, like, the way it kicks in on the final level is just amazing. It's just extremely good. Alright, I see a jar over here. And now we're gonna interrupt it with the Fireman theme. Uh, with, the, with the DLC characters, I kind there, There's a small part of me that hopes that they will add, like, I guess like a second season pass, or maybe even free updates of more characters from other games. Like, they could even do the shortcut, like they could make Ellie with a clone of Xander. I don't know why Ellie would, would have darkness attacks on his weapon, but you know, it would be something like that. Um, like they, would, they could do it, they could totally just go the, the easy route and reskin things. And, for instance, Selica is a clone of Marth, because they don't know what to do for Selica, I'm sure. They just, they, they're like, what, what do we even do? This character hasn't come out yet. What are you, what are you yes, doing, sir. Frederick? Roger. Go over here. What are you doing over here, Cordelia? Frederick, why are you trying to fight mages? I'm just getting... I'm pretty I've sure he has, like, the worst here. resistance stat in the game. Here. First, first yes, up, sir. you. Deal. There. Now keep going to that base. I don't need you fighting mages. So, Rob Robin has mind control because plot. And now we fixed that. Robin! Are you okay? But, uh... Like, Celica's a clone. They didn't know what to do with her. Mom? And... Where am I? The last thing I remember Part of me is, is a little bit upset about that, and quite frankly, I like Alm more than Celica. I think later. his path is better than Celica's, you, just because it, it, you know it's more of a war than just some weird monster fighting thing. But that, that's a spiel for another day. You cannot undo what is already done. But did I skip this when I fought him in the last map? That, oh, if I did, I'm, I apologize about now that. Then, surrender to your doom. Again, muscle memory. So, I would have preferred if they put, like, almondness and 
But then people were telling me, oh, just make him a clone of Blank. I'm like, well, you can't. All I'm left handed. That's a distinct feature about him. So that would have been extra work. I'm sure that's why they won't work with selling them. That or it's because she's a girl and people want girls in the game. I don't know. I don't know what their plans are. I'm pretty sure there are more guys in this game than girls as of right now. Actually, with DLCO, I have no clue. It's either because Selica's a girl or because Alm would have been too hard to do that I think she's in it. It's one of those two reasons. Also, he summoned a bunch of Pegasus Knights indoors. I would like to mention how bad that is. What strength? If only I had such power. Alright, so once we beat Valadar here, I believe that'll be the end of the Awakening thing. And the end of any and all spiels I've had today. I have a lot of I have a lot more stuff to talk about to fill the void of time. That is just me mashing the Is it the Y button? I can't see it start. I think it's the Y button. I need you to stop blocking. Alright, where, where's the port cat? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he is the port captain. I'm dumb. So, because he likes to block, this is taking longer than it should. Alright, this will finish him off, and we're... There we go. I guess what I can say is I like Cordelia's design. I think she looks nice, but like, other than that, I just don't like the character all that much. Just must retreat, but I cannot accept this as fated. I guess we could talk about Valadar too. Valadar is weird. He's got like a very pointy face. He's very generic villain. I gotta say. I think I like his voice too. Just a lot of like. It's like. Thanks to you all, we stopped the ceremony in time. And if that's the case, I won't be needing this mask anymore. In truth, my name is Lucina. I hail from the same world as Krom. Well, I guess our worlds aren't exactly the same. Where we are from, the situation is rather dire. It's a grim future yet to unfold. You're from the future? Huh? Wait, but you said we. Who else came with you? Ha! The hero's origin unveiled at last. Hark! The blood of the virtuous few enriches my veins as well. Blood that I share with another. A gentle soul set adrift Let's on the- Let's get to the point. Okay. Long story short, Liz is gonna be my mom. Uh, wait! <gasps> what?! That's right, Mother. I'm your loving son from a far-flung future. Uh, but how to prove the truth of my words? Of course, I'll share a secret that only your child would know. No, stop right there, Owen. No secrets, because I believe son? you. Son? Mother, you need to know Whoa, that's that enough. I'm your flesh and blood. Uh, Lucina. the brand could it be <laughs> hello father <sighs> better lucina yes father father i was real worried i think should, i had to see should i, I call you something that. else no it's just strange to my ear i like it Crom, Lucina, you got a minute? Pardon the intrusion, my lord, but the last patrol returned with vital information. They reported a fierce battle between two armies we've never seen before. Could they be people who came through the portals like we did? If that's the case, then there could be a hero from another world with them, too. Hold on. We could get pulled into their war if we do this wrong. <laughs> a power above must favor our quest. The solution has revealed itself. What solution do you mean, Owain? What are you saying? Owain, speak plainly. Oh, um, uh, maybe we split up and approach both sides at the same time? If we split our forces and a battle breaks out, we would be in serious trouble. 
but a smaller force would be able to move about unnoticed. Time is critical. Let's take the risk and split into two groups. All right, I like I like that cutscene. It's very nice. They did it well in Awakening too, with Lucina revealing her origins. Also, who could have saw that coming? I'm pretty sure I messed up earlier and said she like a few times, but I'm sure everyone knows this that at this point. Results like this come only after great effort. Oh, we got a book made of pure iron. That's nice. And we got our first Master Seal. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I think I'm going to go ahead and give them to our final team for the end game. Other than that, I don't know. Bond of something, I'm counting on you. Leave it to me. Come back soon. Something, something new has been made. A lot, a lot of notifications there. But, alright, that's going to go ahead and do it for me in this session. Obviously, there won't be that big of a gap in time between this and the next episode. Uh, if you're watching them all in a row, but this is the end of this session for now, and I have a lot more things to talk about next time, like voice acting. I want to get right into that one. I love voice acting, but I'm going to go ahead and end the session here for now. If you've stuck by, thanks for watching. So, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.